Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today, today is Saturday, March 13th. We're going to be talking some NBA DFS picks for today on both DraftKings and Fandles. But before we get started, we're going to look back to two days ago, talk about my results, how they turned out, and why they turned out the way that they did. I uh, did not make a video yesterday. Had a couple different things I had to do. Wasn't really the best day overall to play DFS, so just kind of took a day off there, but back at it today. So on the DraftKings side, we had Chris Paul. $7,800. This was kind of going in with the notion that Devin Booker might not play. We were looking for about 39 points out of him. He got to 35.75. So he was a mess, but at the same time, he probably didn't kill you overall. Devin Booker did end up playing. So if, if you were able to pivot off of him to somebody, maybe like a Victor Oladipo that day, it definitely panned out there. Then at shooting guard, we had Norman Powell, $7,200, looking for 36 points out of him. He got to 45.25, so he was a hit. Then at a small four, we had Sterling Brown, $4,300, looking for 21, 22 points out of him. He got to 24, so he was a hit. Stanley Johnson, $3,500, 24.5 is what he ended up with, so he was a hit as well. And then at center, Tony Bradley, $3,300, looking for about 16, 17 points out of him. He got to 26.5, so he was definitely a hit. So it was a very good day over on the DraftKings side. Then on the FanDuel side, we had Shake Milton. $4,200 looking for 21 out of him. He got to 25.1, so he was a hit. That game also ended up being a blowout, too, if I remember correctly, so he definitely had room for more. Terrence Ross was somebody I did like going into the day, $5,700, looking for about 28, 29 out of him. He didn't play that game, so he was a miss. Brandon Ingram, $7,700, you're looking for about 38 out of him. 21.6 is what he got. He was a miss, but that game was kind of a blowout. Tobias Harris, same situation, $6,900. Looked like the smash play of the day, you know, looking for 34, 35 out of him. He got to 32.6. That was a miss. Like I said, that game was a blowout, though, so he was really close for it being a blowout. Then at center, we had Kelly Olenek, 4,500. You know, you're looking for 23 out of him. He got to 38.4, so he was definitely a hit. Uh, but with that being said, we'll get into today's injuries. So if you guys are playing the early slate as well, or the all-game slate, there is the Knicks and the Thunder. For the Knicks, Alfred Payton and Emmanuel Quickly are both game-time decisions. Austin Rivers is already out. Mitchell Robinson is still out. Derrick Rose is still out. So if you're playing this game, if Payton and Quickly don't play, then, you know, Frankie Nicolina, he is going to be a smash play because there ain't nobody else left to play point guard, essentially. You might even see uh, Alex Burks play a little bit of point guard. He's done it in the past, but not as of recently at least. Then for Oklahoma City, pretty much looking at the same guys out that have been out for a while now, basically still out. Uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander is also out as well, so that will change things up quite a bit, honestly. Uh, so Tail Maladon's going to get a boost, and then Ty Jerome's going to get a boost as well. We'll see if Poeshekski starts as power forward again, but there's a lot of cheap plays on this slate for them, honestly. Kendrick Williams is in that starting lineup. So if you're playing that early slate, there's a lot of value on the Oklahoma City side. Then for the first game of the regular slate, we have the Detroit Pistons. Uh, pretty much the same guys that they've had out for a while now. Dennis Smith Jr. is out as well today. So we'll see if DeLon Wrights gets a little bit of a bump up in minutes. Otherwise, we'll see a little bit more of Saban Lee as well. Then Hamadou Diallo is out. He, they just traded for him yesterday, I do believe. They traded Sheev Mikhailu in a second-round pick in, like, 2027 for Hamadou Diallo. So it's almost as bad. I don't know. That might be that might actually be worse than the old Trey Burke trade where he got traded for a 2023 pick a couple years back. But that's a whole other story we could talk about that some other day. And then for Brooklyn, they're missing Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin once again. TLC is a game-time decision. Does not look like he'll play, though. The Bucks are pretty much all the way healthy. Not don't really worry about Jordan Nawara. Then for the Wizards, Ishmael's still out. Bradley Beal, he was questionable, or at least they said he was going to be questionable for today. He did play yesterday. I figured he'd sit out today since he was noted as questionable early yesterday for today. So we'll see how that pans out. If he doesn't play, Russell Westbrook does get a bump up, but it could move into blowout territory as well. Davis Berton's easy game time decision. I believe he missed last night. We'll see if he plays today. Then for the Raptors are exactly the same as they've been with all them guys out. So just keep playing them the way you've been playing them. Essentially, the prices have not changed too much on them overall the last couple games. Then the Hornets are essentially all the way healthy. The Kings are exactly the same as they were last time out. The Hawks, pretty much the same. Okongu is a game time decision as well. 
than for the Trailblazers. It's exactly the same as they've been. Timber was pretty much the same as they were the last time out. Culver is a game time decision unlikely to play. Mavericks just have Terry out. He doesn't matter. And then the Nuggets just keep an eye out on them. See which of these guys end up playing, which don't. So the Pacers are kind of interesting here. It just has T.J. Warren listed as out. So is Karis LeVert actually going to play today? We'll have to take a we'll have to take a look into that later. I'll I'll leave a note down in the comments. Uh, either way, then for the Suns. Booker's still a game time decision. He did play last time out, so I assume he plays again. Cam Johnson is still out. But that's pretty much it for the injuries for today. We'll get moved over to DraftKings to talk about my picks over there. So at the point guard position, we got DeLon Wright. $5,500. You know, they're looking for about 27, 28 out of him. It's about what he's averaging on the season. He just came back, I believe, the last game. Had kind of limited minutes. I think he played 21 minutes. But he goes against Brooklyn today. Should be a very, very good matchup for him. If he gets that 28 minutes, you know, especially with Dennis Smith Jr. not being able to play today, then he could definitely pay off. We're going to keep an eye out on him. If there is a minutes restriction that I do see before game time, I will mention it down in the comments. Probably at a pivot option as well. Then for shooting guard, we're going right back to Norman Powell. He's $7,300 looking for 36, 37 out of him. He's been getting that or more pretty much every time out. Since all these guys have been out, he's going to be taking the shots. Goes against Charlotte. Should be a pretty favorable matchup for him as well. Then at small forward, we have Jake Lehman. And he's not a sexy name, obviously, but he is $3,500. He's been starting lately. He's been playing more minutes. You're really only looking for 18 points out of him. So definitely doable for him. Definitely a good pay down option at this point in time. It is also a revenge game for him if you're into that narrative. He did play for the Trail Blazers previously as well. Then on the opposite side of that game, we got Robert Covington. $5,600 pay down price for him. Looking for about 28 out of him, averaging about 25. Should be a pretty good spot for him overall. It's also a revenge game for him. He was on the Timberwolves for a short period of time as well. So definitely some of that could be in play today. Then at center, we have Clint Capella, $7,500. This is a pretty good pay down spot for him, honestly. You're looking for 37, 38 out of him, averaging 40 on this season. I think he definitely has that upside to get you 40, 42 points in this game against the Kings. So should be a pretty favorable matchup for him. Definitely getting lots of rebounds, definitely get, add some blocks as well. But if you go with these five guys that I have listed here, you'll have $20,600 left over. Almost $6,900 per player, so definitely some room to pay up for a couple guys and then pay down for another one. As always, we'll have more value opening it up throughout the day, so I'll be leaving all that news down in the comments as it comes out throughout the day. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the FanDuel side now. And FanDuel, I went with some more pay down options. We'll start off first with Jalen Noel at point guard. He is $100 over minimum price, looking for 18 points out of him, averaging you know just under 16 on the season. But... The, you know, D'Angelo Russell's still not there. Jordan McLaughlin is not playing in this game. So Jalen Noel, he's going to get that backup point guard run. Did pretty well the last time out. His price did not get a major boost on FanDuel. And as long as it's like that, you got to play him. I think it's a pretty good matchup for him overall. Portland doesn't have good defense. If this game does end up in a blowout either way, he's still going to play in big minutes. Then at shooting guard, this one is a little bit interesting, I'll say. Wayne Ellington. $3,900, looking for 19, 20 fantasy points out of him. Definitely doable in a matchup against Brooklyn. That's a pretty good matchup overall. You know, Brooklyn doesn't have very good defense. And Wayne Ellington, we'll see if he gets back in that starting lineup today, especially since they did trade Chief Mikhailu. Don't understand why they did that, but that's a whole other story. We'll get into that some other day. So I think he plays a little bit more minutes. Um, him or Josh Jackson, one of those two guys is definitely going to pay off tonight. So I, I just went with cheaper option in this point in time. At this point in time. Then as small forward, we have another pay down option. It's Doug McDermott. $3,900, you know, you're looking for 19 points out of him. He's averaging 20 on the season. I think he's a pretty safe play here. Like I said before, with that Karis LeVert news, we'll take a look at that. If he is actually playing, then maybe we don't play Doug McDermott. Maybe we go with somebody else. Then at power forward, we have Chris Boucher, $6,700, you know, looking for 33, 34 points out of him, averaging 30 on the season, been playing pretty well, you know, since all these other guys have been out, he's definitely had to play bigger minutes, so he's definitely somebody that I would consider at that power forward position today. Then at center, we have Carl Anthony Towns, $9,100, price down spot for him here. 
So you're looking for about 45, 46 points out of him, averaging 44 and a half on the season. I think it's a pretty good matchup against Enos Cantor. And then if he's in the game at all, when Cantor's not in the game, he should definitely eat against Robert Covington. So definitely has a good potential there. You know, should be a pretty high scoring game, I would think, in that matchup as well. But if you go with these five guys over on FanDuel for today, you'll have $32,800 left over, $8,200 per player. So definitely a lot of room to spend up for some guys. I know they did price some of these guys, these top three guys here, James Harden, Nikolai Jokic, and Giannis. They all had massive price bumps in recent days. They're all way over $11,000 now. So maybe you don't play them. Luka at $10,400 definitely looks appealing, but just kind of, Go through your lineup, build it, try out different builds, try out different, you know, priced ups options with some of these lower priced options and see where you end up. But as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Like I've been saying, I'll leave all the news and starting lineups down in the comments below. So you'll want to be checking that out throughout the day. And then if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It definitely helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. And that's really one for you, the viewers. Helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL. Helping you guys with your fantasy football teams. Covering all the different football news this offseason. And then as we move forward into baseball season, going to be covering some fantasy baseball and some baseball news as well. But with that being said, if you are a newer current subscriber is yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. And like I've been saying, do daily NBA DFS videos like this. And then going to be having some fantasy football content coming out as well. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. As always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out. And then last but not least, quick little shout out to each and every one of you watching this video. Definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means a lot to me. And I really hope each and every one of you has a great, great rest of your day.